I'm rushing out the house, but I wanted to start the vlog before I do so because I'm going to be rushing around a little bit today, but I'm going to be vlogging a little bit for you too. Super exciting day, starting with Lisa Eldridge press breakfast. Very excited for that. Haven't seen her in a really long time. That'll be really nice. A little bit of a break in the middle to do some work. A hairdressing appointment. I'm going to see Adrian from Hershison's and I'm getting my hair chopped off. It's super long. I need to have it my greys coloured and then I'm going to go short. Might regret it but it's just hair, it grows, so let's see. And then tonight I'm going to see John Mayer at the O2 with my dad. Cannot wait, love his music so much. Don't particularly love him. It's just one of those situations where I don't really feel very attached to the person. Don't really know much about him or care much about him. I just love the music and very much appreciate him as a musician, so cannot wait to see him live. But I've gotta go, because I need to get to Victoria Station early because the tote bag, I haven't got any nice tote bags. Rich made me throw them all away. And I need a nice tote bag for when I purposely want to wear a tote bag instead of a handbag. Just one of those outfits, I haven't got the right size handbag for what I need because I need to take my tripod today. So I want to get a nice tote bag and I'm going to see if Oliver Bonus in Victoria Station has one. There was so much nice stuff in there I literally forgot what I went in for. I wanted everything but they didn't actually have any tote bags which I'm so surprised. So I'm just going to quickly check accessorise a new look which I don't think will have what I want but let's see. Okay these are my options in new look got this black and white one or this one. Okay, the strap was too short under the arm and the bag was too long so I'm just gonna stick with my really grubby me and M tote bag for now and maybe I'll find something later. Guys, I'm at the Lisa Eldridge Space and K event. Just been like chatting to everyone, catching up. Sam's here. Um, right, I think we're actually about to head but I was almost forgot to vlog here. Hilarious. If um, you're the sort of person that likes being on camera ironically that's not me uh, just walk down carnaby street there's always so many people filming things where they want to like talk to the public every time i walk down here there's someone shooting something just popped into the ymu offices because i've got a couple of hours before my hair cut and i've got to schedule a job and like do a few things on trello so i'm just going to sit here and do that picked up a few things from mns for the girls classic percy pigs but also mns have these like easter themed snacks Dippy Egg Mini Whips. Oh my God, they look so good. And Chucky Hot Cross Bun Bites. Chocolate coated fudge with a light and tasty hot cross bun filling. So good. Right, let's try one of these. Mmm. Mmm. Go, go, I'm off to the hairdresser. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film in there because I am filming for Instagram. I just don't really want to have my phone and my camera out. I've only got one tripod. It's all gonna get a bit confusing. Maybe I'll just add the reel into this video. But I'm very much looking forward to a hair wash. It's just the best part of going to a hairdresser. Love it so, so much. So, so random. Okay, I currently have color in my hair. Um, they've just tinted the roots where I get my gray hairs and then put like a gloss all over. So that's great. I feel better now that I don't have balayage anymore because I used to have that and as lovely as it is, it's just not, I have, I can't do that and use as much heat on my hair as I do, I have to choose. And I'm really enjoying just being like my natural brunette at the moment. So colors in, I've spoken to Adrian about how short I wanna go. He made a point that obviously if I'm waving my hair, it jumps up a bit, so it might look a little bit longer than maybe I was hoping for when he cuts it. But then when we put the waves in, it will jump up a bit. He was like, look, you can always come back and go shorter. But I also said, I don't wanna leave here being like, oh, that wasn't as exciting or as short as I wanted. So hopefully we're gonna find some kind of middle ground. And yeah, I'm excited to see what it looks like. I've got like half an hour left on my color. So I'm just doing some work on my phone. Guys, are you ready for the reveal? Here's my hair. Actually, I'm wearing a dark coat so you can't even really see that well. But look how short my hair is. I do love it. Look, when I walk, I knew that was gonna happen. So it's not that my hair is thin. My hair is fine. I have a lot of it, but the hair is fine. Look, this is the length. Maybe I can show you better when I'm at home. I'm really happy with it. Guys, did I show my hair on the vlog? I can't remember what I've done. I'm filming so many different things today, but here's the hair at home, hairing doing its thing, really like it. I'm about to make the kids dinner and then I'm gonna rush back out to see John Mayer. And I'm not gonna take my camera with me because we're going on a busy tube and small handbag and all the things. I'll try to get a little clip on my phone, but I'm actually just gonna enjoy my evening with my dad, singing along to John Mayer and I'll catch up with you, I think in a couple of days.
Good morning guys, it's a couple of days later. I'm fresh faced. Feel like I look so pale at the moment because my hair's dark and it's time to start fake tanning again. I feel like I need just like a little bit of glow, a little bit, because I'm not going to be getting any kind of like sunny holiday for a while. But I wanted to start today um, fresh faced and actually just show you how I've woken up with my hair. This is just how it is when I wake up, which is nice. It's still got a bit of a bend in it from yesterday. The roots are going a little bit curly, so I probably just need to go over the roots and like smooth it down maybe add in a little bit more of a bend so i will do that afterwards but i thought i would just do my makeup with you this morning because i've got a couple of new bits to try since i spoke to you last um i had a day in town with like a couple of press events and i actually had something for lisa eldridge whose uh makeup line is now launching in space and k which is amazing honestly how does space and k have so many brands i don't understand they obviously just like manage it quite well on like which shops have which brands but anyway her makeup is going into space and k and i got a few nice bits i got a really nice lipstick in kitten mischief i think the lip liners are new so i got a couple of the lip liners uh, the mascara I've heard good things about and there's a liquid liner as well but the thing that I really want to try today is new for the brand it's the seamless skin enhancing skin tint it looks a bit like the Chanel hand cream I remember from years ago it's this kind of egg shape packaging actually that's nice it's got a little kind of thumbprint like a thumb a section for your thumb at the back so i went for the shade t6 which is because i was with sally hughes and she said that's her shade and we look pretty similar and then actually the lady told me that it's also lisa's shade as well so that's cool I'm just gonna twist off the lid and mm, how am I gonna apply this? I'm gonna, it might be the sort of fact, yeah, it looks like it sinks into the brush very quickly. So I'm just gonna quickly put it straight onto the face because it's more of a skin tint. I'm just gonna do it section by section and see how it looks. It looks very glowy so far. Should I just do like half my face? Excellent um, shade match. Thank you very much to Sally Hughes. That feels nice. It feels a bit like the Chanel Aqua. Do you remember that? I used to use that all the time. I can't remember what it's called. Aqua something. So that's that side of the face done and that side's not done. So I would say like not much coverage, but definitely like a really lovely glow, but nice. Something like the Glossier Skin Tint I put on and I'm like, no, that's done nothing. Whereas I don't feel that way about this. It's definitely done something. Um, and it's nice for like lighter days. You can always just go in with concealer. That's what I would do. Just to, you know, any areas where you feel like you need a bit more coverage. Let me just do the other side. It's quite like wet. It's a wet feeling. I'm just gonna take it over my eyes because I always get kind of like darker red eyelids. I'm putting um, the video live today on Instagram to show my haircut. So I'm excited to see what you guys think on there. Okay. That is the skin tint done. Really nice. I would definitely use that again. I'll pop that in my drawer. I've totally run out of my Bobbi Brown concealer that I use every day. Like there is literally nothing left of that. And I keep forgetting to repurchase it every time I'm near like a boots or somewhere. So I'm gonna use my NARS concealer, which I also really love. This is like a little bit more coverage. Got a few little spots there. Take a little bit around my nose. I've got choir tonight, which I am really looking forward to. But we're learning a new song, well, a new song for the choir, but it's um, Hotel California. I'm obviously a huge Eagles fan. I've literally got them tattooed on me. And I just think it's going to be so hard to learn a new version of a song that I know so well. I'm a soprano, so I've got to learn like the high parts. And you know, you just know a melody so well. I don't really know how I'm going to remember any other melody, but we will see. Hopefully we don't butcher the song because it's obviously one of the best. I've got a few nice things that I want to chat to you about today. I'm actually really looking forward to vlogging today. I think it's going to be really nice. And I really want to go and pick up my plate that I painted in one of my previous videos. I think it's supposed to be ready today. So I cannot wait to see how that turned out. So I'll go and get that and I'll open that with you guys. Can anyone recommend a silk bonnet or a silk sleeping headscarf or something. I know I can get a silk pillowcase, but I think for my hair, actually wearing something on my head is, is much better for me. So these were the first ones I ordered from Amazon, just to try out whether I liked it or not. And they were very comfortable, 
but this elastic band section is so thick that what happens is it almost like lifts my my hair root too much and then I end up I wake up in the morning and my hair's nice and silky and smooth but it's like lifted I do not need any extra volume in my hair so I was like okay well I need one that hasn't got this big headband section so then I ordered from a website called only curls which is for curly hair which has got a smaller elastic band section it's got this tie at the front it's more of like a hair turban but this one just fits terribly I can't explain it like doesn't even hold a shape or like it's just really really uncomfortable this was much more expensive so I was actually pretty disappointed with this it just doesn't didn't like fit nicely on my head can anyone recommend like a silk turban or silk bonnet or something that like fits really nicely I almost want it to like flatten my hairline I don't want it to lift it I kind of want to like wrap my hair down so it's like pressed down in in the night I tried just see seeping last night with a silk scarf and tied it up but it fell off in the middle of the night so I don't really know like I really like sleeping with something silk on my head I think it makes such a huge difference and it's gonna save my hair from so much damage but I haven't found the right one so if anyone can recommend one please do point me in the right direction let's try the mascara it's like a slightly curved wand Okay, I could already tell that's nice, but it's more subtle than the mascaras that I usually use. It's not like, whoosh, straight away. It gives more like fluttery lashes than something like the Hourglass Unlocked or the Vive Mascara, which are like, it's, for me, it's like a few, a few like brushes of it and it's instant big lashes. Which lip liners did I get? I got 1W, which looks more pinky, O-N, 0N, which is more brownie. Well, that looks very brown. I'll save that for more of like an evening. Let's try, let's try this one. Got a bit of lip balm on. Hmm, that's a nice colour. I'm not sure about the lipstick colour though, because I feel like it's going to be too peachy. Oh no, that's nice. That's a really nice colour. That is really nice. Let us get on with our day. Oh, my hair. I haven't done my hair. I've been using this, which is the new GHD Kronos, Kronos, Kronos. It's got some kind of new fancy HD motion responsive technology, which means that it straightens your hair faster, which means less heat damage because you're doing it less amount of times. So two times more responsive at 185 degrees, which I've learned is the maximum my hair can do in terms of heat. I once used a hairstyler that was like 220 degrees and my hair snapped off and broke. So note to self, I always check when I'm using heat tools that they are no higher than 185 degrees. Three times more breakage protection. Anyway, they seem great. I'm giving them a go. So what I've kind of been doing, it's only been a couple of days, I haven't even washed it myself yet, but I think the, the back bottom layer of my hair needs to be straight. So there's not, I've like, I've got a lot of volume at the back of my hair. So what I'm doing is I'm straightening the bottom layer and then I'll wave the top layer. It feels so weird having such short hair. It's hard to get used to waving short hair because it's like a different motion to when I've got long hair. I'm just gonna do a little twist, alternate the direction that I'm going. So it's a bit more natural. When Adrian does it, he does much smaller sections and it looks really good. I just like don't really have the time or patience to do these tiny little sections. These straighteners are great. They don't feel like they, um, I think they've changed it so the hair doesn't catch because the last GHDs I had, my hair kept getting like caught in it and snapping. So kind of like that, but like, like I said, it will kind of drop out. I'm just putting in a little bit of hair oil because my hair can handle it needs the weight as we discussed before so i can like go in with the products oh my god my hairline though i'm just gonna smooth that down with my hands there you go that will drop out in a minute but i'm enjoying it i like having short hair god it's so much easier so nice having the house like full of tulips all the time every time i just go to a supermarket i pick up a little thing of tulips they're so cheap and they just look so spring-like. Look what I picked up on the weekend. I was with my friend Debs and we were walking around Covent Garden and I walked past Blue Bloom, which a friend of mine had recommended. They do glasses and sunglasses and I ended up going in to try on a pair of glasses. I just needed another pair. I need to have one in my car, one in my handbag, one on my desk, 
so that I actually wear them. So I redid my eye tests and I got a pair of glasses, which they are going to send to me, which is also great. I'd have to go pick it up. They send them to me. But I also picked up some sunglasses. I wanted something a little bit more fun. And I mean, they're not super fun, but they've got a slight color to them. It's gonna be hard to tell on the vlog, but they are blue. I really like them. I don't know, when I first got them, I was super excited. And now when I see myself in pictures, I'm like, ooh, is the shape right? I find it so hard to find sunglasses that suit me. Honestly, what is wrong with my face? Every sunglasses I try on, I'm just like never sure. But I think these do suit me and they, they feel a little bit different because they're kind of this shape. They're not like cat eye and they're not round. I think they're cool. I like them. I like that they're blue. I've also seen that Ace and Tate have done a Ganny collaboration. So I kind of want to try on some of those. Building up my sunglasses collection to be a little, little bit more interesting than it was before. I feel like all I wear is my round Ray-Bans. So yeah, thought those were nice. Okay, I'm gonna head out because I need to send a vintage parcel, pick up some ground coffee for Rich, and I'm gonna hopefully pick up my pottery plate. Oh, so annoying. The plate wasn't ready. It's been 10 days. I was desperate to get it, but they said there's been like a delay with putting stuff in the kiln and it'll be another few days. I did go to a shop to get a few bits. You know, when you go to like one of those, all there was was like a health food shop. So I had to buy like organic mayonnaise. I really didn't need organic mayonnaise. I just needed mayonnaise, but it's fine. And organic sweet corn. But I really wanted to get some sweet corn because I saw on TikTok, my brother-in-law actually sent me a TikTok of someone making like toasted corn in the air fryer. It looked incredible. All they did was sweet corn and paprika. I feel like I could do better than that and it makes amazing crunchy corn. <gasps> it just sounds genius. So I'm gonna make that. Also, just arrived home to a little hush order, a panic order because we are going to Kent for a couple of nights in Easter and there's a heated pool. It is an outdoor pool, so weather permitting, but I don't really have any decent swimming costumes. I've got like a couple, but I just thought I'd try something a little bit different. Saw this on the Hush website. Also, I'm definitely gonna try, when it gets warmer and it's more spring, summer, I'm gonna do a swimming costume try-on. Remind me to do it, because I think there's a niche there for people who, one, like wearing swimming costumes instead of bikinis, and two, like showing someone with a like not so like perfect body on Instagram. I feel like you guys would enjoy it, so I'm happy to put myself out there for that. Uh, but look, one shoulder, I have never, oh, that looks very, oh, there's a little bit of support. There's like a built-in something or rather, a layer, an extra layer. I've never tried a one shoulder before. I will try that on and see if it works. Let me just look on TikTok, my favorite place for recipes, to find out what else people would use, like garlic granules. Uh, toasted corn with seasoning. Roasted, is it roasted? No, it's all like corn on the cob. That is not what I want. Corn, paprika, salt. 15 to 20 minutes, 180. Let's do this. Okay, I'm just gonna drain the corn. Do I need to dry it out, do we think? They didn't. Oh my God, they do it with peas as well. Okay, sweet corn in the air fryer. I'm just gonna sprinkle over some paprika. And then I'm gonna put everything but the bagel because it's got salt, garlic, and onion in it. So it kind of covers all basis. Bit of extra salt just for good luck. Give that like a mega shake. Oh my God, it smells amazing already. 180 degrees for 15, 20 minutes. Very excited. I don't know if this is working. I'm gonna have to stop because they're starting to burn. I was basically having to put them in for longer and longer and longer. And they're kind of getting browner and getting smaller, but they don't seem to be getting crispy. Ow. A lot of them are stuck underneath the, the tray thing. I wasn't sure whether to take that out. Oh God, it's really stuck. That's what they look like so far. Do you have a second just to run, just to come help me open something in the kitchen that I can't open? I have a little taste, they feel quite hot. They sound crispy actually. Oh no, the ones underneath weren't crispy. This does not look like the tip shop made it look. No. Hmm, quite like it. No, it's not as good, hi. Hello. I was just phoning to see if you wanted it to come over and try the corn, but I've just done it and it didn't really work. Oh no! I know. What, did it, what did it do or not do? And mm. kind of like burned, some of it burned before it got crispy enough. And they're too small. Oh, it's so annoying. Didn't really work as well. Maybe it comes hot, so it kind of dehydrates it more. Yeah, but then they just kind of started to shrivel up. Uh, but they weren't, yeah. 
Oh, take Chocolate that down. Down. Yeah. That was incredibly disappointing. What a waste of a can of sweet corn. Okay, I'm gonna try on this swimming costume now and see. See if it works. Okay, I've just tried it on, on top of my knickers, of course. Um, and it's a really nice print, and I like the one shoulder, but I literally just tested it, and I, like, put my arm... I'm not gonna do it again. Put my arm up to be like, hi, and my, like, whole boob just came out. So, uh, nope, not for someone with big boobs. I just feel like I have to get all the boring swimming costumes all the time. I'm trying to find something a bit more interesting, but I've got, like, a... I can't remember what size boobs I have, but... It needs to be higher. It needs to be supportive. Maybe I need to size up, but then I feel like it would be too big. Very, very annoying. Um, I really like the, the one shoulder thing, but yeah, my, my whole boob just came out. Half an hour. Okay, me and Rich just ordered a delivery for lunch, which actually I don't think we've ever done. Maybe like once before, we're pretty good at not doing that, but I'm out tonight and we both are like quite busy and haven't really got time. So eek, we ordered um, poke bowls. So I'm very excited for that to arrive and it's coming in half an hour so I'm going to set myself the challenge of scheduling three videos in that time and then at least that's done. Lunch is here. Very, very much looking forward to it. They were actually doing like a deal where you could get two drinks and a side and two mains and it was cheaper than just getting two mains on their own. So what have we got here? Vegetable gyoza, lots of side sauces. And then I'm pretty sure we got the same thing, but Rich got extra onions on top. So this is a tuna poke bowl. I always go for tuna over salmon. I always just feel like it's more fresh. Salmon has the tendency to be a bit fishy. Look at this. Oh yeah, look at those chilies. Mmm. So good. I'm gonna doom scroll whilst I eat my poke bowl. I just got an email from M&S Food, which in itself is very exciting because you guys know how much I love M&S Food and honestly, they're like my dream brand to work with. It would just be the dream, but anyway, it's just a PR email, but I'm very excited to have even been contacted by the PR team. They're gonna send out a little Easter treat thing this afternoon so hopefully it comes whilst i'm still vlogging because they've got some really good easter stuff in oh actually i literally earlier in this vlog i bought some mns bits didn't i like mns easter bits and i took it to the wine you guys that's really funny i didn't even realize the link anyway hopefully that will come and i can show you guys what they sent me mm. guys it's the next day and it's actually my day with rudy so excuse what i look like it's a proper mom day but i quickly wanted to run upstairs to show you because this came late last night and i've just realized that when this video goes live it's no longer easter so it's not that relevant so i'm going to go through this very quickly but i am so excited by it first of all how cute is this i'm going to use this for the kids easter egg hunt and use it like every year forever and ever in here so many amazing easter goodies some of their um hot cross buns these are the extremely caramel ones you can hear a little snotty rudy in the background percy pigs oh gray's gonna be very excited by these these are like the easter ones an Easter egg, golden blonde chocolate egg. That looks so good. These are excellent. The giant whippy dippy bar. So it's like an egg box of chocolate kind of walnut whips, but with this like eggy marshmallowy goodness. There was also some mint chocolate eggs, which I have totally already eaten. I took them to choir with me last night. And Easter lamb meets Colin the caterpillar. So it's a little Colin and a lamb. How cute is that? Definitely gonna take this to Suffolk with us for Easter. Mm, delicious, thank you so much to M&S for sending me those. Can I open the Percy Pigs now? I want mm. some. You want some? I'll eat Pecks up. Okay, you can have one. One for Daddy. What is it? Mm. It's got an egg in its tummy. It does have an eggy on its tummy. Mm. Right guys, I'm going to sign off this vlog. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!